What's going on everyone? It's Brandon with Code You Find Jewelry. Your personal jeweler. New pieces alert. We made the Italian horns. Now, as you guys know, I only sell the finest. Most of the chains I sell are those fine Italian links. The highest quality there is money can buy. So I kind of want to pay some respect back and make the Italian horns. These are a classic look in the gold community. So it's a win-win for all of us. You've seen them around. I've made them, brought them to the website. These things are so nice, you're gonna wanna buy it twice. With that being said, let's get started. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, at Jacoji Fine Jewelry. Visit my website, www.jacoji.com. And if you're watching this video and you have that Italian gold bonus point Jacoji chain around the neck, then smash that like button. Smash, smash, smash. Smash. Now a little bit about the horns, and I'm not talking about the meaning. I googled it real quick. It's good luck and have an evil eye, and these days I need both of those, so I'll wear it proudly. Um, they are solid, and I liked to do this design because it is an iconic design. We all know it's been around. Just like I approach the chains of ropes, Franco's Miami Cubans, those are chains that will never go away, just like this design. So it is really cool. Made them solid. Most of them you'll find cheaply hollow, so when you're shopping around, make sure you're getting a solid one with everything. Also, I added slightly bigger bales. I did custom bales with these because I want to keep that slender design with them that you've seen on them, but the opening on on the bales is pretty big to accommodate chains. That is something honestly that keeps me up at night you wouldn't think about when selling, but is the bale size because you're trying to fit everybody's chains. Everyone has different chains on. So the bales are wider, which is a good thing. They're solid and they're made very nicely. Also, I compare these directly to the Angel Wings, which is one of my top sellers. It's more of a look that you get when wearing a piece like this. The Angel Wing is a little more um, slender, not as wide like a lion piece. And I'm going to show direct side by sides of what I'm talking about, but they're longer. So you kind of get a different look. And a lot of people when shopping want more that look than the design itself. And the Italian horn is very, it's not anything that's super religious or anything. It's just a nice classy design. So I know they'll do well. Paired them with the Francos. So we're gonna go break down each side and see which one is right for you. And here we go. We have the tiny, mini, standard, and large size. Now let's take a look at the tiny size to start us off. We have a side-by-side -side of the tiny, horn versus the tiny lion and you see the size and difference the tiny horn is just longer and again usually when i review these pieces i say the tiny is mainly for females for kids for babies you definitely can get away with the tiny size obviously i go mini size but again if you want a very simple look on an 18 or 20 inch chain this can do it you have one inch top to bottom that's usually what a mini size would be lengthwise so you have the length there and then you're gonna get the look overall if it was a lot wider it would look better bigger kind of like a mini size would but for the tiny size this is definitely a winner next is the mini size on the 1.2 millimeter diamond cut Franco I forgot to mention the tiny was on the one millimeter diamond cut Franco the mini size to me is the best size out of all of these I feel it'll work better for a, most of you guys I know with the one half millimeter to three millimeter chains look and start at the mini size and see if it's right for you one one quarter inch total length it definitely has the presence around the neck. I feel like it's the best buy when we're talking all of these different sizes. Just the look it offers, you wear it at like a 20 inch and then layer a 24 inch solitaire chain and you are good to go. They are definitely gonna know where you bought that setup. Here we have the standard size, the almighty standard size. I paired it with a modest one and a half millimeter diamond cut Franco. The good thing about the Francos is they could hold their weights Four pendants, it's no problem, but if you have a four millimeter rope, three millimeter diamond cut Franco or whatever it may be, feel free to buy the standard because it'll definitely fit and it'll wear well. For the size, you get one and three quarters inches length, which I know a lot of you guys like. That is the sweet spot. The bigger, the better when you're trying to have a pendant chain that stands out then go with this standard size because that's exactly what it'll do for you. The bale's big enough to hold most chains or accommodate most chains, so it works. It's a good pairing. The gram weight, the price is not bad for the presence and piece you're gonna get. Last but not least is the large size Italian horn. Two and one quarters inch from top to bottom. The weight is not bad for what you're getting. I paired it with a three millimeter diamond cut Franco chain. And again, if you have a larger size chain, four millimeter rope, five millimeter rope, easily can go with this. This is the good thing. And what I'm really proud about these particular designs is the versatility they bring and just the ease to switch them up. 
They're very clean, they're very nicely made, so they work and just add to that outfit when you want that look. Again, with these horns, with the angel wing, it is all about the look that you get, and I'll show a bunch of neck shots so you guys can see, but no matter what the size you go with, large, tiny, mini, whatever it may be, the looks are kind of the same. It just depends on the chains and how you want to wear it, your frame, and the overall look you want to go with. One last neck shot with all of them on, and it's pretty consistent as far as which each size offers, and that's why I make a bunch of different sizes for everyone's taste and opinions. I can't, not everyone likes just the standard size. You have different goals, you have different budgets and size chains, so videos like this, screenshot the side-by-sides, and then feel free to reach out to me if you ever have any questions, what I recommend. Again, the fun part about having the chains, having all the jewelry, the gold jewelry, is one, it's gonna last a lifetime, and two, you could style it, switch it up. You have to just always have that versatility, that option to do so, collect, add, and wear your jewelry proudly, shop Jacoji. That's it for today's video, and we will see you in our next jewelry video.